I've been seeing a lot of videos lately about castor oil and I thought I need to chime in. I've been using castor oil for years on my lips and on my eyebrows and my eyelashes. And I really truly think that it makes a difference. I'm 60, I don't have any lip fillers in or any kind of plumping, I've never done that. But I think my lips are still fairly full. I mean, they're not real full, but like I say, they are also completely natural. I use castor oil every night on my lips and I also noticed that around, immediately around my lips where, you know, my skin is, has less wrinkles than the skin just outside of it. So when I put the castor oil on, I'm not very, you know, specific about it. I just kind of wipe some on. So the skin around my mouth also gets the castor oil and that skin kind of looks better than the rest of the skin on my face. I have a good friend who said that her mom has always used castor oil over her whole face as well. And um, I've tried that because I can see the difference around my lips. And I do do that once in a while, or I'll drop a few drops in my moisturizer just to kind of thicken it up. It is thick though, but I'll do this at night every once in a while too. And for my eyebrows, I think it thickens my eyebrows and my eyelashes. I just use, um, sometimes I'll just use my finger, but then I swear that the other downy hair was growing more too. So now I'm trying to be a little bit more specific and I just have a tiny little brush and I'll just put it, you know, I just brush on my eye, eyebrows at night before I go to bed. And then I'll just kind of almost line my eyes at the base of my lashes. And sometimes if I'm feeling very luxurious, I'll even put a few drops in the palm of my hand and, you know, get a spoolie and I'll even brush it on my lashes. And then what I'll do typically is take a Kleenex, a clean Kleenex, and just kind of dab the excess off. I don't do this every night, but I do it, you know, regularly. And it might even be good for blueferitis. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but when you have uh, myobial gland dysfunction on your eyes and dry eye like I do. Uh, I just kind of looked into this, so I don't know a lot about it. I don't want to say a lot about it, but I will link an eye doctor below who has a YouTube channel if you're interested. If you have dry eye, I suggest checking this guy out. He's really um, given me some great tips. Now, you don't really want to get the castor oil in your eyeball if you can help it, so try to kind of avoid that. Castor oil is used in some eye drops, but it's very much diluted down. So the pure castor oil, you don't really want to get it right in your eye. That's why I like to take the Kleenex and just kind of dab it off. Now, when you're buying castor oil to use on your skin, or at all, in my opinion, you want to make sure that it's organic, that it is expeller pressed or hexane free and chemical free, and that it's in a glass bottle. One piece of information that I saw was that castor oil is really good at pulling properties out of the container that it's in. So you don't really want it in a plastic container. You want it in a nice non-reactive glass container that is dark in color like this. I really like these two brands. I will link them below. This is a good one. This is a small one with a dropper. And then I bought this great big bottle to refill it. A little different brand. And what I do, and this is kind of weird looking, but I'm just gonna show you because I find it really useful. I like to use oils because they're more natural and they don't have all kinds of weird ingredients in them that I don't know what they are, but, but, but they are oily and they drip onto my sink and I don't like that. So I just have this, um, this is some old tights and I just cut them up. <laughs> And I just, uh, on all my oils, I just take these things and I just wrap them around like this so that there's a little, a little barrier if oil drips down when I'm using it. But I love castor oil. It's inexpensive. It's a pure oil. It's not a bunch of weird ingredients that you don't know what it is that could harm you. 
And um, I really think it works for plumping lips and keeping your eyebrows and your eyelashes more full.